4th of August, zero kilometers, quarter past five. I'm going to attempt cycling from Jahmet to Turkmenabat in one day. That's 180 kilometers approximately, I don't really know. Still at the moment, but there'll be a headwind later. Uh, this is the that's the sun rising in the distance. No, that's the light. <laughs> Not the sun, that's the light. <laughs> this is where I slept. In a truck stop. Pretty comfortable. I'll be keeping every video log of what happens. So, I'll speak to you later. Now it's time for me to get ready. And have a watermelon. Turn off. Uh, 5.57. 0.15 kilometers. A quick turnaround. Had my watermelon. I look a little bit less asleep. I was hoping to be on the road earlier. But last night, I had... Um, my first kind of stomach movements, which wasn't fun. So I've only got about three quarters, maybe half a toilet roll for the whole day. Fingers crossed. But um, apart from that, put things in context. Yesterday I finished at 7:30 and I did 150k into the headwind, and I went the wrong way for 15 kilometres towards Afghanistan, mainly for some. Bastard gave me wrong directions. Anyway, I need to get started because it's about to get hot. And as you can see, the sun is rising in the desert in the distance. That's a car. I hope to see many of them lavishing me with fruit and water as I traverse 180k. I don't know what's on the way. Maybe lots of food and drink, maybe nothing. I'm carrying about 12 litres. It's cold now, but it'll be warm later. Speak soon. 602. Can't be asked to check the kilometres, <laughs> probably about one. So I'd mention it's blissfully cool. Yeah, that's about it. It's cool. I'm on the road. Sun on my face. Things are good right now. They're gonna get oh so worse. And you can see me crumble in front of the camera in this daily log that I'm making just for you. That I'm gonna painstakingly somehow send via the internet to someone who's gonna compile it for your viewing pleasure <coughs> while I'm Dying in the desert. Ah! 621, 7.6 kilometers. See the desert in the background, hopefully. <coughs> I should have mentioned this is the Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan. So, this will be my last night in Turkmenistan tonight. Three in total. And I should also mention the lovely man at the truck stop gave me that room for free. I just had to pay for dinner, which is about four US dollars. Consisted of two kebabs, lots of bread, and a kind of beef. Beef? Beef broth. Very nice. Ah, no wind yet. Well, a little, but it's right here about.
802, 35.77 kilometers. As you can probably hear, the wind has picked up. There's some surprising little, I wouldn't say climbs, but inclines. That bring my speed down to 12 kilometers an hour. About 10 kilometers ago, Pop some emodium. Had five biscuits. Now it's time to go on. I'd like to make 100k by midday. But we'll see. This is what I see. Whole lot of nothing. This road is about 7 out of 10, so far in Turkmenistan it's been about 3 or 4, which is a blessing. But, next time. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna go now. I don't know why I'm smiling. I'm not happy. <laughs> hey. 857, 43.81 kilometers. My shadow is now life size. The sun is getting hot. Well, there's a little town that's behind me, and there's a little cafe. They wouldn't let me film. Uh, so. They might come running out now, <laughs> but I managed to get three eggs, some bread, my stomach's holding it down, down some water, ooh, I even got a Snickers. <laughs> Snickers and three eggs, and a cup of coffee. <laughs> Probably the worst thing to have. A bad stomach, but hey, it's definitely off. Sure it's all smoky brown. Well, I'm from my house, room. That's the road. Time to go. Catch you later. If you're able to understand any of that while well, these stickers, good work. Starting to feel a little bit queasy, which is not good. It's getting hotter, hence the hat. I just saw a Bongo rally car from England. Bust didn't stop. I was very unimpressed. I didn't want anything, I just wanted to chat. something. Apparently not. We are impressed. Heard of 
cafe in about 50 kilometers. Wind has picked up. Just dropped my speed to about 15, 16 kilometers an hour. It could take me about three hours. If I get there by one, I'll be pretty happy. It's getting tough. It's going to be a really tough day. M58. 78.61 kilometers. I was hoping to have done 100 by now. Not quite. The wind is relentless. Absolutely fucking relentless. If I was going the other way, I would have done about 150k by now. It's about half the speed I'm doing. Less than half the speed, I think. Got this water. Condensation on it from this morning. And I know that Repotech, the whispers of Repotech, through 40 kilometers, I'll be there. 30, 30, 30 kilometers. 30! Yeah! Sorry. 30 kilometers, I'll be there. I don't have enough time for about 20 minutes rest before continuing. Ah, not even halfway for the day. Gotta go. Bye. 156 p.m. 99.66. The reason I'm talking in a while is I would have been shouting and screaming at the camera, so I thought it best not to. Plus, I want my nieces and nephew. Nieces. One niece, one nephew, Robin is boss. This wind is beyond. Got 10k from Mepatech. Hopefully, we make it the next hour. Oh, yeah. That's direct headwind. 14.43. That was a beautiful thing. There's a cafe. I'm going in. I'm gonna drink about 10 litres of stuff. Five past five, iPod is in. I'm not gonna make Turkmenabad. But I'm happy with it. It was too big, too big a challenge in the wind. But, check this out. Come on! Come on! Crossing the road! Ha <laughs> ha! Check that shit out! Cafe in 30 kilometers. I'm gonna hit that. Hey! Cool bus five! 110 kilometers done. I'm not gonna make tech better about as I said. But I put my music in. That's why I'm shouting. I feel great! cyclists in Bukhara and none of them made it across the desert because of the wind. That makes me feel strong. 
I feel good. Well, I haven't made it yet. But even not making Turkmenabad, I've been in a pretty good position to do it. Apart from you, Zach, you only got a three day visa. And I'm sure you would have made it. Oh, I love life! howling. I'm going at 12 kilometers an hour. Enjoy my evening cycle to wherever that may be. I don't care whether I see a cobra, a scorpion, a black widow, another camel, or a cafe. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Even if, even if. Right. 7.02. I can barely hold the camera. 129k. I'm so tired. My mood. So I have to rest the camera on the handlebar. The next cafe should be in about five kilometers. My stomach is cramping. Today I've eaten one watermelon, one packet of biscuits, three eggs, two Snickers, half piece of stale bread, four sweets, three cans of iced tea, two cans of Pepsi and about 10 litres of water. And I've gone to the toilet many times. My earlier euphoria, which you saw, how her laughing hurts, has somewhat dissipated. I just want the cafe. And plain noodles and not a drink. That's all I want is drink. Water, fizz, iced tea. There's my shadow somewhere in the distance. I'll be asked to point it out. I had notions of cycling in the dark to Turkmenabad just to prove a point that I can do it. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. See you at the cafe. Seven forty-eight, fourth of August. In the saddle. Nine hours thirty-four minutes. One thirty-three point eight eight kilometers. Speed 13.9, top speed 26.7. I just stopped the car. I'm going to sit down, sit down on the road. No, I can't. Give me a bottle of fizzy water. 20 kilometers in the next cafe. I can't make that. That'll take me another hour and a half at least. 
he may be wrong, he may be right. I need to camp. I really don't want to. My stomach hurts. The idea of pushing my bike over sand dunes is too much. But I have to, I'm gonna pitch tents and collapse. Look at this quilly. I'm complaining. I've got one of the most beautiful sunsets. Sorry for the shaky camera, but I'm really tired. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and wait in this car and get some water. Do one more blog before I get to sleep. I love you. Hey, that was my painful tent put up. I know you can't see me, but I don't know what time it is either. Nine o'clock, quarter nine. I'm gonna cook myself some dry pasta and then pray, pray. Ah, uh, pray. That sleep comes to me. I'm gonna wake up. Fresh as a bird. And cycle to the cafe. To have a leisurely cold drink. I've got Plenty of water. I've got about four and a half litres. I'm drinking and drinking, and nothing's quenching my thirst though. It's getting cold. It's quite cool now. I hope it's going to remain so in my tent. And no snakes come. I don't know what I'm going to do if a snake comes. Fuck that shit up. Sorry for swearing. What have I learned today? I've learned to always buy a nice bottle of water when you can, even if it's 10 kilometers between stops. Don't be afraid of failure. At the beginning of the day I was just pushing too much, trying to succeed. You push, you push, you push too hard, you need to kill yourself, you don't achieve your goal, and you're camping 20 meters off the road behind a sand dune in the middle of nowhere, with no one to support you, and no mobile reception. Great. Ah. Alright, time to get me even chores. I hope this turns into some kind of good video. Oh, and T, if you're, if you're doing this, if you could somehow, when I say donate here, if you put the Just Giving page, somehow insert a click button, do it. Whatever you can. <laughs> Donate here. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me company. Good night. <sighs> Hello. It's 18th of June. <laughs> no, 18th of August. <laughs> I'm in Kyrgyzstan, just to the top of the Taudig Pass, which is 3,615 meters high, the highest that this trip would entail. Uh, got this guy here. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's just been he's just been here, chilling with me. He lives in the yurt behind me. I'll show you. Um, this is, will be a round off 
for my vi video of Turkmenistan, which uh, didn't end too well. I think in the last video I said I was about to cook some dinner and then go to bed. What actually happened was uh, I turned the video camera off, stood up, had a massive head rush, crawled into my tent and collapsed. Um, but not that cool. And then the next morning I had no breakfast and had to cycle the 50 kilometers to Turkmenabad. Anyway, that was a long time ago. I am now enjoying Kyrgyzstan with its beautiful roads, amazing people, gorgeous weather. I was in my big sleeping bag last night, just uh, enjoying the cold. <laughs> You want a sweetie? I want a sweetie. I like this kid. He's chilled. He lives at 3,650 meters high. Why wouldn't he be chilled? I'll show you as you at now. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, it's the daddy. That's his yurt there. I can say hello to the family in a minute. I'm about to cycle down to Saditash, which is just about 3,000 meters. Spend the night, and then be in China in two days' time. Woo! <laughs> China. And in two countries. No, hey, that's the last country. And the mountain range you can see in the background are the Pamirs. That'd be Tajikistan somewhere back there. A lot of people cycle the Pamir Highway. But it's so peaceful. I mean, it's just, just beautiful. I'm quite tempted just to camp up here. Uh, that's directly into the sun. You might be able to see that well. But there are lots and lots of horses over there. There's horses everywhere in Kyrgyzstan, a national animal. But for now, without making this too long a video, I survived Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, had a really bad stomach, bad roads. Now I'm in Kyrgyzstan with this kid checking out my map. So, uh, speak to you soon. Bye.